From the site that many call the loudest in the NFL, we are inside Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Washington Commanders taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And we are underway from Kansas City. And they will elect to not bring this one out as our first drive will begin at the 25. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. And that one caught by Rice. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 13 yards on the game's opening play. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Well, this defense certainly knows they're going to have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. This is part of why this guy's got multiple MVPs on the mantle. We're used to seeing him make the impossible throws, but here Mahomes knows he's got nothing, so he wisely just gets rid of it. On second down, here's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. That's kind of a double whammy. I mean, the interception on the opening drive, that's one thing. But to give him this field position, that's another. Absolutely perfect start for this defense. They take the ball away on the opening possession. They know that their offense will get the ball to start the second half. They line them up in field goal position. And to me, they got a chance for a touchdown right here out of the gate. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Someone's looking fresh, and this old line is definitely licking their chops. Everyone likes to run block. If you're an offensive lineman, nice early burst, nice gain, too. On second down, another shot for Robinson. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. They'll go play action. Howell. He'll buy some time right. able to slip it inside the five-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man Cubs are so committed to denying a big throw that it put attention away from him. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr., taking it in from four yards out. And the Commanders are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Joey Sly on for the extra point. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They threw an interception the first time they had the football, wound up leading to a touchdown the other way. How do you approach drive number two? Going back to your game plan coming in, everyone has matchups that they like better than others where they think they have an advantage. Dial up some of those plays. Try and go to those spots and get your offense moving. Come on, 
Following the incomplete pass, here they go again. Second and 10 from the 25. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Mahomes now to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that will bring up second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. That'll be caught by Rice. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Brings up second and a yard at the 19-yard line. A run by Pacheco on second down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one by the line of scrimmage. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter for Merrillhead. It's the Chiefs in possession as they go to work on a first and goal. going to throw and he is going to lose yardage here it'll go as a loss on the play not what you need down here it's going to be second and goal well his completion percentage continues to rise with that one but sometimes you want your completion percentage to go down maybe you should have thought about throwing that one away I was just going to say it is easier said than done but that's where you may be buried at his feet make sure he doesn't catch it great job. great call right there put it near the receiver and Left sideline, a dive, and it looks like he's got it. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. A great effort there with an amazing diving catch. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from evening this one up. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one.
The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent author a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling me. There he goes, left side. A huge play there for Washington. 45 yards. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball's right on the money and leads to a big play. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Now that after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throw right side, taken in by Gibson. So no gain on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Third and long, here's Howell. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. A good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held, it goes incomplete. And now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. And this will be covered up. Pretty good result. It'll be down at the 14-yard line. I feel like you and I could be in our backyard with our dads right now. What did they always say when they were throwing us the ball? Look it all the way in. Make sure you secure it. That had the feeling of not happening there on that play, that he didn't have full control of the ball. When that punt's coming in, I've never returned punts, but I would imagine it's tough to monitor those guys coming full steam ahead. Of it really is. You try and get that peak to know where they are about whether you should fair catch it or not. But sometimes you just have to have a, a sense, a feeling, and just have to make sure, number one, though, you catch the ball and put it away. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up. It's seven. Second down and a yard. Now here's Mahomes. They'll check this one down at Pacheco. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. That was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that? Second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Mahomes now on first down. Able to find Gray here. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Here's second and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man right side is Rice. Seven yards there and a first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down. Executed it to perfection. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. From the 47, it's second and five. Hey, 
Now Mahomes. Flush to his right. That ball caught. It's Rice. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back to make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Yellow, yellow. Second down and a little more than a yard here. 43, 43. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he stopped after a gain of one. Not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle. That's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. He'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Taking matters into his own hands, and he picks up four yards and a first down. Well, here's your first example of how this guy can beat you in more ways than one because they took away his arm. But he was more than happy to dissect it with his legs for that first down pickup. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the right hash, this from an even 40 yards out. Butker's kick here is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they are able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. One last shot before the break. Howell eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. Harrison Butler at a kickoff four games this evening. A good tight football game thus far. 10-7 to score as we resume action on EA Sports. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. Out there, set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. 
It's a first down for Washington on a pickup of 11. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. And McClure in the motion man right. Second down and a run by Robinson. Escapes the defender. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. 47 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense, first and 10. Here's Gibson on the read option. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. And he'll go down at the 28. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. They've got a nice little drive brewing right here. Off play action. It's Hal. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game, second and ten. Throwing here, Howell. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Mike Edwards picks it up. And the Chiefs are going to have it here just past the 25. So it was a drive that had real promise here to begin the third quarter, but ultimately derailed by the INT. And that was the position you wanted to be in, coming out to start this third quarter, get a nice drive going, looking for the end zone. Possibly got a little bit too greedy right there. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And their defense just helped him out by getting the football back on the opening drive here in the second half. And now can the offense follow through with points on their first possession? And that's a big one for them because after the work the defense has done, they've got a chance here to open up this lead. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. Here now, second and four. They'll set up a throw. Flushed out right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. It's a 10-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain. So when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Come back. 
And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and 11 at the 41. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. Now throw right side taken in by the tight end, Gray. It'll be a gain of five. And now third down and six to go. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of the formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here's the Chiefs punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. They begin the drive with Robinson. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 61 yards now on the ground on just seven carries. A good run there off right tackle in old school NFL football. The right side, the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Ball on the 39. Here's the second and five. They'll run again here with Robinson. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That burst good for 20 and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. Powell. They'll set up the screen for Gibson. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Commander's football as we get back to it. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down the wire. On second down, a run with Gibson. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. This is first and ten. On first down, right back to Gibson. And run here as he's got it inside the 20 down to the 17. And now all of a sudden the shoe's kind of on the other foot. Maybe you pull the reins back here a bit. Yeah, a little bit because you got to make sure that you don't score too quickly. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Robinson up the middle. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 
Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Now first and goal. They'll run with Robinson. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. Well, partner, I guess sometimes it's just a matter of philosophy. Some say run until they absolutely stop you, and others say, well, when you think they're about to stop you, fool them a little bit. I guess they should have tried to fool them on that play. Here's Hal. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Now we're in the situation where the quarterback's got to take full charge of his huddle. Got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Got to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. Powell to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. With that incompletion, reality is staring them right in the face. This entire game is down to the next snap. Sly able to put this one through. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net, but they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. And with time of factor here late, he'll just take a knee, and they'll start things out at the 25. They'll come up first and ten here. Mahomes forced out to his left. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Now Mahomes looking for Gray, and he's got him. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. <laughs> I got kicked out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Mahomes to throw it. will throw that one away. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So four quarters couldn't decide it, and it'll be the Chiefs who get the football first in this overtime session. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Go, On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Flush to his right. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They may want to go back to that one. 
First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Another nice job there defensively. They really stymied their passing attempts, and it continues in overtime. And for them to do that, that means they've had to be cohesive on defense. Pressure in the quarterback's face, good coverage of not just the, the wide receivers, but the tight end, the running backs when they try and slip out, and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incompletions. Commanders are going to get there as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sand. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw up a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Probably thinking they got to be careful not to force anything here in overtime. This is third and a mile right now. Washington looking for another timeout, and they get it. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. The Commanders bringing out the nickel package on third down. Mahomes now to throw. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Well, their defense did its job. Now they're going to get the football with a chance to win it. And it feels like they ran out on the field, and right before they did, they told the offense, don't worry about this. We got you. Okay, we've got the situation under control. We'll get it back for you for a chance to win the game. And, boy, they did it well. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. 